What's going on guys? Back at you again and we're going to look at the best tackle of week 18. I put the closed captions on and might be a little hard to hear but just read and I'll also reiterate anything that sounds, you know, that needs to be repeated and also I also need to say for the idiots out there that don't realize this is obviously a joke, don't hit women no matter what. I don't care what happens, there's never a situation where you should strike a woman. You shouldn't even think about it. It leads to nowhere, it gets you in trouble, and it proves nothing. If there's a woman that wants to hit you, leave. You shouldn't be around a woman that wants to hit you, ever, like, at all. And if she gets you to the point where you want to hit her, you shouldn't be with her, and you need to leave, too. The whole point is, it's the man's fault if a domestic happens. I don't stand by any of that fuck shit. I don't fuck with dudes that do that. I don't do that. I won't ever do that. Never. So... That's out of the way. Let's get right into it, though. All right, so that's the prosecutor. He's basically saying that he's suggesting that the defendant goes to jail or prison, really. So basically, that's how you're addressing a judge in your shirt with who on it? Some other probably rapper. So you come to court not in a suit. Like if you're going to be committing crimes and appearing before a judge, you best be looking like your lawyer. It needs to be to the point where your judge can't decipher between who the lawyer or the defendant is. If when we can basically just point out who the defendant is, that's never a good thing. Guys like that get sent to jail all the time. Or prison, I should say. And he's probably doing this because he knows he's going to prison. Because you're going to hear his rap sheet. He's gotten off a lot of bullshit. So he probably knew this was the last straw. But he's going to keep trying, right? You feel like, you feel, you feel. So we're going based on what you feel and not the facts? Is that what we're doing right now? Stop the cap. You shouldn't be, like, sent to prison. If not like prison, then where, then? For a second time, guys. A second time in prison. <laughs> Bruh, there's guys out there with weed charges that shouldn't even be in there for a first time trying to get out. And you're doing, we're about to find out what, and you want to get out of a second get out of jail free? No, hell nah. Oh, get him. He, have you looked at your criminal history and what he say? I looked at it. I mean, he said, I looked at it. I mean, he just lying his ass off. You ain't looked at shit, dog. He commits his crimes and keeps it moving. And then she says, you lived it. And then he says, I suppose I just looked at it. Yeah, yeah. man, you didn't look at that. He didn't look at shit. Felonies, gross nine, misdemeanors, multiple, DV, DVSs. And she's not reading it all either. So that means battery on a protected person. That means he hit like a cop or like a judge or something like that. So he's done this shit before. So why does he think he gets a million chances? Like, what? Are, you're a man, bro. Stand up to what you did and do your time. If you want to do some bullshit, you got to deal with what you got to do. And like, that's what that is. You can't just keep getting away with shit. Attempted home invasion. Like, who Who the hell wants this guy out on the streets? She, now she's being crass, though. So right now she's being a little unprofessional. Usually they don't list out your whole rap sheet like that to the whole court. And, and then she's, like, being a little, you know, passive-aggressive. Oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. She, come on, Judge. You didn't interrupt. Like, you're just doing that to be crass. I just fig like your mental health and you have a support system and you just got hired 
as a teamster, so what? So what? Every single domestic violence I'm dealing with, there shouldn't be any domestic violences, guys. What is this guy talking about right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, all right. I hear that, but the problem is you're a man. You're a grown-up, so it's up to you to figure that out and not test it out on the world. If you got problems, you need to figure that out. It can't be you commit 10, 15, 20 crimes, and then you realize, oh, I need to get some help. No. After the first crime, you should have been like, man, there might be something wrong with me. Normal people aren't doing the things I'm doing. Why am I doing this? Maybe I should talk to someone. Like, that's what a grown-up does. They don't commit crimes and crimes and crimes and ask for help later. Like, no, 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 no. That's someone that's trying to get off and get over. August 2022. We're in 2024, so that's a year and a half ago, approximately. So what the hell have you been doing in the last year and a half? So you've known since then and you're still committing crimes? And you're still going to be doing what you're about to do. So literally, this is all just lies, spewing anything just to get out of jail. He's just saying anything. This is probably how he got off the other times because he's got all these charges but been to jail one time. So that means he's been sweet-talking these judges. Probably sweet-talked that lawyer to defend him. Like, why would you want to defend a piece of crap like this? It's just like, what is going on right now? Having a dictionary? Oh my god, now he's just saying anything, guys. This is bitch babble. He's bitch babbling his way. Filibuster in. Filibuster here, filibuster there. Bitch babble. See, none personality? None of that shit has to do with personality. All this shit you're talking about has to do with knowing the right thing and what to, what to do and what not to do. That's what that is. It's called being a grown-up. Learn from your mistakes. How many mistakes are we talking, bro? It's not like you're a 16-year-old that got caught drinking one time. No, dude. You got a rap sheet, dude. That will scare even some of the baddest felons in jail. You feel like you shouldn't be sent to prison. Well, I feel like I should be swimming in a billion dollars right now. Too bad the world doesn't move on how we feel. He doesn't get the memo. I bet he was raised by a single black woman. I bet you there was no man around for him to teach him because he's acting very female-like. Look at how he's pleading with his hands. Not on drugs. So now you've told us you've been on drugs. We didn't know that. Now you've just given us more information that makes you look even more terrible did your lawyer not teach you anything? Did he not coach you through anything? Don't say anything incriminating. Don't give them more information they don't need. Like, that's shit your lawyer should have told you. Your lawyer either sucks or you don't listen. Or it's a combination of the two. You feel like you should be given a shot. You were given a shot. You got sent to prison and you fucked up God knows how many other times after that and before that. So why should you be given a shot when there's other black men out there that are much better men than you that aren't given a shot and should be? Fuck out of here. She appreciates that. She's being crass again. She don't give a shit about what that nigga has to say. But she says now you get it's a taste of something else. She couldn't wait to give him this sentence. Now she's being a bitch. She didn't have to do it like this. She didn't have to say it like this. Now this is going to get him boiling. So you got to know you're dealing with a hood nigga, like I always say. So there's a type of way you got to speak to them. You can't talk to them like you can walk all over them. There's going to be something you got to deal with, and we're about to find out what. I just can't with that history. Yeah, you heard him. Yep, he did it. Dude, this man just went Superman on her, man. Like... That bench has got to be a good five foot tall, I'd say. It, that, that is a good five feet tall guy, that bench. Look at her. She tries to get away. He grabs a hold of her, hits her head on the bench side. It looks like grabs a hold of her hair. This guy's tackling him while he's pulling her hair, it looks like. 
Now we can't see anything. This could all be staged. They could be all laughing it up right now, but who knows? Now she's screaming for... Hold on. Why is she screaming, though? Is, wait, is he, like, kicking her? Because why is she screaming? Because he's standing up now, and she's down here, I'm assuming. All right. Well, that was the best tackle. I didn't know it got into a bigger scrum like this. This dude's getting his ass beat now. It's taking, like, five U.S. Marshals to take this guy down. And he thought that he was going to get a free get-out-of-jail-free card. Yeah, this guy's bugging right now. Yeah, a guy like this, man, he can't be in society, man. Let's be real with this. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.